What's up guys, happy Monday. Welcome back for a new video. Today I'm doing another meal prep video. I did two specific recipes. I was asking yesterday on Snapchat what you'd like to see for tonight's upload if you wanted a Q&A or a meal prep. Pretty much all of you said meal prep. Um, so for me and Christian, usually Sunday and Monday is the day whenever I try to prep everything, clean the house, do the laundry, like just try to get my life right at the beginning of the week. So I always try to put up these videos at the very beginning of the week in case you're looking for ideas for the week to come. Um, on my last video, I did see tons of comments regarding that you guys still wanted me to show vegan meals in my meal prep videos. And I think there was kind of like a misconception there because while I'm not completely vegan anymore and I wanted to be just very honest with you guys about that, I still eat tons of meals that are vegan and I truly love those meals and my son enjoys a lot of them as well. But I also did see tons of comments from people who were really happy to see a meal prep that wasn't completely vegan. Everyone does eat completely different, you guys. So uh, these videos are not like anything in the comments where people need to go crazy and attack each other. Everyone lives their lifestyle differently. That's completely fine. It doesn't make you a good or completely horrible person based on the way that you choose to eat or feed your family. But regardless, I do still want to cater to everyone. Um, so we're doing one meal today that's vegan, one that is non-vegan. I hope you guys are cool with that. Um, these are for this specific week for me and my son. It's what we like to eat and it's very budget friendly. So yeah, as always, I'll walk you guys through every step of how I made everything, it's super easy. One of the meals is just like a one pot recipe. Super quick if you don't have a lot of time. Um, so if you still enjoy meal prep content on my channel, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get started. All right, you guys, so first up, we're making these super easy taco bowls. The original recipe called for ground turkey, but I ended up just doing shredded chicken. Um, so you can literally customize these to whatever you want. I'm gonna also link some meal prep containers down below for you that I constantly use that are super affordable. So I'm just starting with a base of lettuce. You could do romaine, spring lettuce, spinach, really whatever you and your family like. And then I'm just putting a few baby tomatoes in there. Again, like these bowls are completely customizable to the fruit and veggies that you put in. You can definitely, you know, choose whatever you like. Um, but for myself and my son, we really like corn, black beans, garbanzo beans, kidney beans, cucumbers, strawberries, um, just any of like the go-to meals that I know that he will eat and that we both just think are tasty and go well together. So again, you could throw like ground turkey on here if you wanted. Um, Christian does really like shredded chicken, so that's what I ended up going with. I'm just putting a little bit of each ingredients over the bed of lettuce, and that's pretty much it, and you're good to go. I ended up just throwing in here some shredded chicken on the side. As you can see, I did some black beans, and then I topped it off with some avocado and some strawberries. I didn't put any dressing in these bowls because it's always best to add the dressing at the end in case you are not eating it for two or three more days. You don't want anything to get soggy. So you can just take like little tiny Tupperwares that can hold like a few tablespoons and put the dressing in the fridge for when you're ready to just take this meal to work or on the go. But yeah, overall just super affordable. Um, you can get a lot of those items at the dollar store or Stater Brothers. Uh, somewhere very cost effective and then throw on the dressing when you're ready to go take it out of the fridge and you're good So yeah overall that took me like 10 minutes and I had five meals completely ready for the week And then the next meal we're doing here is a one pot vegan bowl slash taco prep because with what I did here I actually had some corn tortillas in the fridge whenever I pulled one of these out I can just put the mixture in the tortilla and eat it kind of as a soup or as a taco so I turned on my oven there um, to like level three and I'm just putting in any beans that I want. I chose to do black beans, garbanzo beans, and kidney beans, which I usually find the cheapest at Stater Brothers or Winco, or again, you could get them at the dollar store. Be sure to rinse everything very thoroughly before you put it in the pot. And it's very um, important that you're only putting in the corn and the beans here at the beginning. So I literally just did one can of everything Mixed it up here as you can see and I cooked everything for a good 10 to 12 minutes before I put in any of the diced tomatoes or veggies. You want to just let those cook first. So on a side um, cutting board over here I was doing some zucchini and then I was also chopping up some mushrooms. You want to make everything pretty small. Um, so this took a while off camera. I sped up the footage here, but maybe like 10 minutes cutting up any vegetables that you like. Anything that you like in a chili or like in a one pot mash you can put in again just based on your preference. Um, again, these veggies are super cost effective, very affordable. So I just chopped those up 
and then after everything had been cooking in there for a good 10 to 12 minutes, I put in one can of Hunt's diced tomatoes. You can do two cans if you want it like super runny and you want it more like a chili, but if you want it thicker to where you can put this into tacos, just do one can of the Hunt's tomato sauce. And then I put in the veggies here as well, the um, zucchini and then also the mushrooms and then I let it cook for like an additional five minutes and that, that was it. So it took maybe 20 minutes total. So I was putting everything in again, another five meal prep containers. And then in the last two over there, I did have some room for a snack. <laughs> Christian was walking by right there. Um, so I just chose to do grapes. You could do yogurt. You could do any kind of um, veggies or oatmeal or hummus or like carrots, anything that you like on the side. But I just did basically extra chili in these three containers in the front, as you can tell, because I was gonna use them for tacos for the next week. And this won't go bad. I kept this in the fridge for like a good five to seven days and nothing went bad. Um, so it was super easy. So those were two meals that Christian and I are gonna have for this next upcoming week for lunch and for dinner. Super easy, very fast to make. I'll leave a bunch of my favorite meal prep containers down below for you guys, because I usually get some from Amazon that are reusable, and they also come with utensils, and they're super cheap as well. So that will do it for this week. I'll link right here on the screen some other meal prep videos that I've done for only 20 bucks, or if you're on a budget, you're a college student, tons of other recipes and stuff that I've done that I hope you guys will check out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love if you would subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.